Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you guys again. I just woke up not too long ago, so I'm trying to get myself prepared for whatever the day has to throw at us. I already hear the family in the kitchen. It sounds like they're getting themselves some breakfast. I could really eat right now. Okay, I'm going to do my skincare routine really quickly. Layla has me hooked on these Junk Elephant products. They're super expensive, but I actually think they're working wonders on my skin. Good morning, Akila. Good morning, Mommy. Give me the cereal box, Leo. Hey, I'm not done. I had it first, dummy. Well, I need to eat too. I'm not the dummy. You're the dummy. Dummy, you know that you two really shouldn't talk to each other like that. We have such a beautiful life that some people out there don't have. You need to be kinder because what if it was your last day on earth? Would you want those to be your last words to each other? I don't think so. I guess not. You're right, mom. Sorry, Leah. I guess I'm sorry, Leo. Okay, everyone's down here, but where's... Grandma, she's still not feeling well. I checked up on her earlier this morning. Oh, she's still not feeling well? Okay, um, I guess I'll make some breakfast and bring it up to her. What's wrong with Grandma Annie? You know, she hasn't really been feeling too well, baby. Liv, do you want cereal? Yes, please. Here, you can have mine. That was very nice, Leah. All right, what do you guys think Grandma would like? Maybe I can make some blueberry muffins? I haven't made those in a while. Thank you. I make a card. Ooh, she'd love that. She loves muffins. Okay, I would love that too. I bet you would. Okay, let me start on these muffins. Okay, perfect. We still have all the ingredients. Dad, really, this isn't about you. How about a juice box? Can I give her juice, Mommy? Yeah, of course you can give her some juice. Just make sure to add a little water. You know those juice boxes are loaded with sugar. Yes, yes. Got it. Okay, and now I have the muffins ready. So go ahead and grab some if you guys want them, but don't eat them all. No water. Okay, we won't add any water. Girl, just, just add the water. Get me one! Boy, if you don't come over here and get one for yourself. All right, looks like August is making coffee or something. And I'm also gonna get a drink for Annie. That'll go good with the muffin. Would you like coffee, Akila? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay! Thank you, sissy. Mmm, may I have a muffin as well? Of course, there are plenty of muffins to go around. All right, let me get this one for Grandma. And just leave my coffee down here. I'll come get it after I bring breakfast up to Annie. Wait, Mommy. Yes, Livy. Can I come say hi too? You know, um, yeah, how about you make a card real quick and we can bring it up to her together? I haven't seen her all morning. Okay. All right. So we have everything ready. I have her breakfast and Livy made a little card for her. So let's see if she's awake yet. Liv, can you go ahead and knock on the door? My hands are quite full. Mm -hmm. Mom? Hey, good morning. You have another little special visitor and your breakfast. Hi, dear. Grandma, I made you a card. I'm not really hungry right now. Oh, okay. No worries. I'll just, uh, I'll just put it over here and you can grab it if you, if you want it later. Thank you for the card, Libby. Of course, Grandma. I hope you feel better soon. Just put it on the nightstand, Libby. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Libby bug. Okay, now that Libby is gone. Hey, Mom. You still don't look too well. Are you feeling any better? I'm not feeling too well at all i'm sorry to hear that did you um have your medicine maybe you should try eating i'm not sure let me see you kind of feel cold i don't think this is very good at all august can you turn up the heat in the house maybe it's just a little cold in here I don't know it feels fine to me but i don't really feel like eating right now okay i'm not gonna force you to eat i already took my medicine okay well that's good sit down dear 
let me talk to you. And close the door. Sure. Uh, here, I'll pull up this chair next to your bed. So what did you want to talk to me about? I just want you to know that I am so proud of you. Of the woman that you've become. I mean, I learned everything I know from you. So thank you for being such an amazing mother. I'm sure it wasn't easy. You're raising the children perfectly. Thank you. Well, since we're having a little heart to heart here, I just want to let you know that I love you and I appreciate you so much. You have always put me first, especially after dad died. You took on two jobs and you worked really, really hard to support us. And, and I admire you so much for that. So again, thank you. Well, maybe after you feel a little bit better, we can like go out for a walk like we used to get some sun right right mom 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 august i need you upstairs right now what happened it's my mom we were having a conversation and now she's not answering what grandma what do you mean mommy august i need you to call 911 is grandma okay what's going on i'm not sure but i need you guys to go get dressed right now be right back i'll take live away from here leo can you just uh stay with your sisters and make sure they get ready sure thank you oh my goodness over here over here please my mother has become unresponsive okay guys i'm gonna ride in the ambulance with grandma and the paramedics and i'll meet you over at maple hospital okay bye mom bye mommy we will bye akila see you soon okay bye mommy <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. Everything is gonna be okay. I promise you're in good hands. Uh, looks like I'm getting a call from August. Hey! Hey, did you guys make it? Yeah, um, we made it. We're in the ER. I think it's room 105. Okay, see you soon. Love you. Bye. Hey, you guys made it. Granny! Grandma! Is everything okay? What did the doctor say? Grandma? Mom, is she gonna be okay? She doesn't look good. Please tell me she'll be all right. Um, yeah, about that. Oh, hey, Layla, you made it. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I forgot to call you. Layla, I ended up calling her. Thank you, I'm sorry. I Obviously, my mind is just completely focused on my mom right now. She had to be here, just in case. Dad called, please tell me everything's okay. My heart's beating. So what did the doctor say? So I spoke with the doctors and her heart is, um, her heart is failing, guys. So she's gonna have to go in for emergency surgery in a couple hours. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's really not looking too good. Wait, what? Failing? What, mommy? I got you this. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys, but we have to be stronger than ever right now, okay? Let's be strong for grandma, but it, it is okay to cry, too. Okay, mommy. Mommy, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen either. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I lose her. How about um we all just say some words to grandma i'm sure she'd really appreciate that granny you mean the world to me and you were there for me when mommy and daddy were busy with work please be all right grandma i love you so much and i don't want you to leave i want you to stay forever please stay grandma annie you're the best grandma ever i would never complain grandma annie you are the best grandma i could have asked for you showed nothing but love and compassion to me and my siblings thanks for being there for all of us stay strong i hope you're okay thank you for everything annie i never anticipated this day to arrive so quickly but i suppose it has nobody was prepared for it i promise to keep your daughter happy and keep her going same with the rest of the family as well. I'll do everything in my power to make you proud. Ever since the day I was born, you stuck by my side through thick and thin. You've been nothing but kind-hearted and never failed to give me the most valuable advice that I will cherish as the days go by. I'm sure Grandma really, really appreciates those kind words, guys. Mom, just know that we're here. We're all surrounding you. And we love you. We love you so much.
Wow, here we are at my childhood house. I really feel like I should have brought the family here sooner. It sucks that they have to see it under these circumstances, but I mean, since my mom did leave this house to us, maybe we can come and look at it after the service. Speaking of the service, it should be starting soon. Well, uh, welcome to where I grew up, guys. Um, I was just talking to myself over here, and your dad and I already know this, but Grandma Annie did leave this property to us. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? It looks beautiful, Mommy. Wow, Mommy. Wow, it looks so cozy. Really cozy. I, I kind of just have, um some mixed emotions when it comes to this property, but I think I'll learn to appreciate it even more now. Um, I guess the one creepy thing about this house is that the graveyard is uh, right across the street, but at least we know that Grandma Annie will be somewhere close. Yeah, it's very bittersweet. I agree. Well, we will always be close to Grandma when we come visit. I'm so sad. But I knew this day was coming soon. For a while now. How about let's head over to the service? We don't want to keep Pastor Johnson waiting. I don't know if I could do this. You got it, Akila. I don't know if I do. It's gonna be okay. Grandma would want us to stay strong. Yeah, you guys are right. Um, hey, Pastor. Oh, hi, everyone. Hi, Pastor. It's okay, Livy. Thank you for uh helping us, you know, put the service together. I really appreciate it, Pastor. Is Granny in there? Yeah, um, she is. Of course. You know, I really cared for your mother. And she really cared for you, too. Can I... See her, please? Actually, sweetie, uh, we're having a, a closed casket ceremony. So, no! <laughs> but don't worry, Grandma's spirit is here with us. <laughs> <laughs> what? Where is she? It's so sad thinking that the last moments with her were in the hospital. I can't believe she's gone! Really gone! I can't believe that she's gone either. We should, uh, get the service started. Yeah, um, I agree. Um, I'll, I'll sit right here. This isn't real. It's just a dream. A really bad one. Leah, it's not. Trust me. I just have to wake up. Family and friends, today we are here to honor the life of a mother, grandmother, and friend, Anne-Marie Collins. Does anyone want to take a moment to come up here and speak? Um, I will. You got this, Mom. Come on up. My mother was the best. When your Grandpa Lewis passed away when I was a kid, she did her best to try to fill in the cracks with so much love. I remember we used to bake all the time and she would always take her finger and put powder on my nose. She inspired me to be the woman and mother. I am today, but I still feel like there's so much I have to learn. And now that she's gone, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm sorry. I know she'll still be here with us in spirit. And I can feel her and my dad watching over us right now. So we love you guys. Thank you. 
Thank you again for this incredible service, Pastor. Just know that my mom loved you so much, and we do too. Thank you so much, Pastor. Stay safe. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. We appreciate it. You're welcome. And if you need anything, I'm just a call away. Same here. Bye, Grandma. We will come and visit all the time. We will never forget you. I'll miss you forever, Grandma. This isn't the end, and I will keep my promise. Goodbye, Mom. Well, now that the service is over, um, I guess it's a good time to show you guys the house while we're here. I'm sure Grandma would have loved for you guys to see it. So, August, can you help me over here? Uh, the power box used to be... Oh, right there! Oh my gosh. It looks way less creepy with the lights on. Oh, wow. All right, um, let me see. I have the key in my purse. Whoa, the mailbox is all rusty. Okay, here we go. This is where I grew up. This was our little living room area. The kitchen. My mom and I used to bake here all the time. And we had a table over here. And when my dad would get off work, we'd have dinner prepared. And we'd all eat together. This is beautiful, Mommy. I love the colors. I love it. Thank you. Uh, my room. Oh, my goodness. This used to be my bedroom. I've been obsessed with the color pink. I begged my dad to paint these walls pink and we didn't really have the money for it but he somehow managed to get the paint it's so tiny whoa this is small he's a real one yes my room was small see i try to tell you guys you need to be thankful for what y'all have let me see let's close the door um this was my mom and dad's bedroom it's the same size as mine they had a pretty small bed i can never and then our final room in the house, the restroom. Oh my gosh, not the old bathtub. Wow, <laughs> this is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I can't forget to show you guys the backyard. Are we gonna remodel it? Um, I'm thinking we should, maybe to be our summer house or something. I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting to take a dump. You can see the backyard from here. I see a swing. Let's go. No, two. Uh-huh. Finally. Whoa, this is bringing back so many memories. It's so big. I know, right? The perks of living out in the middle of nowhere. You have a lot of space, but you're really far away from a target. The trees are perfect. Whoa, my swing set. And my old bike. I mean, everything is all rusty now, but I'm sure we can get this thing fixed up. Get on, Mom. Dad, push her. Oh, no. I can't get on the swings. These old things are barely holding the girls up. This place is actually really beautiful. We can for sure get this bike fixed. You sure you don't want a little swing? You know what? Why not? I feel like a kid again. Okay, that was fun. Let's get some food to cheer us all up. That is a great idea. I agree. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And in honor of Annie, comment down below your favorite moment with her. I'd love to read them. And do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight